Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to configure rules in the new Outlook for Windows email client. So this is the replacement for Windows Mail, so depending on when you're watching this, uh, you will either have the option to use one or the other, or Windows Mail will be gone and you will be forced to use Outlook for Windows. So this is not the same as the Outlook client that comes with the full version of Office, you know, the uh, Office 365 software. So it doesn't have all the same functionality, but it does have the ability to do some rules. So before we get into that, let's look at the full version of Outlook and see how the rules section works. So let's just do a new rule, for example, here. Let's just pick this, move messages from someone to a folder. Uh, let's just pick a person here. Let's do Carlos, specified folder, marketing. You can see you have all these options here that you could really fine tune. And then when you go next, then you have even more options that you could configure and so on. So that's the uh, rules section for the full version of Outlook. Let's cancel that. Okay, so now let's go into the Outlook for Windows client. So I have two email accounts configured here, an Outlook account and a Gmail account. So we go to the settings gear icon here, then to the mail section, and then rules. Now, as you can see here for this Gmail account, inbox rules are not supported for this selected account. So you can't do this on Gmail and it'll probably be the same for other non-Microsoft type accounts. So if I pick this Outlook account, you can see we have the ability to create rules and I already have one made here. So let's delete this one and we'll start from scratch. We'll just make the same rule. Okay, so once you have your account chosen here, make sure you have the right one. So if you have multiple um, Outlook accounts or accounts that'll work with rules, make sure you pick the right one from the drop down. Add new rule. We'll call this from Cindy. Okay, here are our available actions. Uh, from to received, my name is, subject includes, certain keywords, marked with, flags, has attachments, message size, received before or after dates, and so on. So you still get a pretty good amount of options here for the uh, Outlook for Windows client. So we'll do from, and we'll put in Cindy here. Okay, and then you could add another condition if you want to fine tune your rule, but we'll just leave this one for now. Okay, then you need to choose an action. So here are your available actions. Move to, copy to, mark as red, mark as junk, forward to, and so on. So let's just go move to, then you got to select a folder. So let's pick the Cindy folder that we have created. You could also create a new folder right from here. And then you could add another action if you want to keep on building on your rule, if you really want to fine tune it. And then you have the option to add an exception. So these exceptions mean that if, if this applies, then don't apply the rule. So let's say the subject included sales meeting, then you don't want the um, email to be moved to the Cindy folder. So that's how you could use the exceptions, but we're not going to add one here. Then you could stop processing more rules. If you have other rules that apply to this email address, for example, if you want to just have a stop there, or you could have it continue on, and I'll show you how the other rules work in a second here. And then you could run the rule now based on your current e email in your inbox. So we'll save it. Okay, so now you can see we have the rule here. You could run it. You can move it up and down, you can edit it, you can delete it. So these arrows here, so if you have multiple rules and you want to apply them in a certain order, then you would use these up and down arrows to kind of change the order. And then you could turn it off and on as needed from here. Okay, so this rule is from cindysims007 at gmail.com, move to the Cindy folder. So let's try it out. Let's go to Cindy's email and send an email to this account here. Okay, go back to Outlook, wait for it to come in. Okay, so now let's go down to the Cindy folder here. And now we have the Hi Todd email that we just sent from that account. So you can see it went right to the uh, Cindy folder. All right, so once again, just go to the settings here. Mail, rules, make sure you pick a supported account. And then you could add a new rule, edit your existing rules, run them move them up or down, delete them as needed, and so on. 
All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.